So welcome back to the Olympic Sports Centre Sing Cheng Gymnasium. Finals day here at the Victor China Open in Changzhou. After that thrilling men's singles uh, final, we turn our attention to mixed doubles and it's an all-Chinese affair. The world champions uh, Cheng Shiwei and Wang Yaxiong up against the world championship bronze medalist Zhang Lan and Li Qianwei. Well, if we look at the race to Guangzhou standings in the mixed doubles uh, discipline, we will see that the world champions are currently at number two. Whether they win or lose today's final, they will go ahead of the current world number ones on the race to Guangzhou standings, Chen Peng Soon and Go Liu Ying. And they lost in the very first round to the world champions who are in the final, so it's not surprising that Chen Shiwei and Wang Yaxiong will indeed go to the top of those standings. The other pair in today's mixed doubles final, Jiang Nan and Li Yunhui, are not even on that list. They're way down at 24, only just sneaked into the top 25. But if they win today, they'll go up 13 places, still outside the top 10, but will be at number 11 if they lose today's final. Uh, Jiang Nan and Li Yunhui will go up 11 places to 13, but uh, for sure we know that Chen Shiwei and Wang Yaxiong will go to number one on the race to Guangzhou. Well, as far as the draw in the mixed doubles was concerned from quarterfinal stage, there were three Chinese pairs, and uh, those three Chinese pairs made it through to the semi final. In the top half of the draw, we had a repeat of the Asian Games final with the world champions uh, beating Tang and Si from Hong Kong. So, we await for the PA and the Master of Ceremonies to announce the players onto court. And the first pair introduced are the reigning world champions and world number ones, Cheng Siwei and Wang Yaxiong. Their opponents also from China. Is Zhang Nan and Li Yunhui. So it is the world champions in the red kit, uh, the bronze medalists from the recent world championships in the black kit. And for red, black, uh, all players one. except Li Yunhui, this that side. is at least a second final yes, here at the event in Changzhou. Xiong. Well, she's been the most successful of the four players on court at this particular venue. Having been in two previous finals, both in 2014, when she lost in the final of the women's doubles with Yu Xiao Han, but won the mixed doubles with former partner Lu Kai. So we look first at the player who's experiencing a first ever final here in Changzhou. Li Yunhui, 21 years of age, born in Wuhan, the capital of Hubei province. And today she is competing in a 12th career final for Zhang Nan, the 28-year-old former Olympic champion in the mixed doubles and reigning Olympic champion in the men's doubles. Zhang Nan is today competing in a 71st career final. Former world number one, of course, with Zhao Yunlei, with whom he won the Olympic gold medal. Uh, but he and his partner have actually been as high as three in the world ranking. Uh, they went to three games in their first match and their 
last match prior to this final. First round against Tarbalin and Senin. And then in the semi-final against the number two seeds, the pair that won here in Changzhou last year, Wang Yi Lu and Wang Dong Ping. Quarter-final, incidentally, they beat the All England champions, Watanabe and Higashino. And so to Wang Yaxiong, who four years ago contested two finals here in Changzhou. Since forming her partnership with Cheng Shi Wei, the 24-year-old really has been very, very consistent with this man, the 21-year-old Cheng Shi Wei, born in Wenzhou, in Xinjiang province on the east coast of China, because this is only their 13th tournament together, the world champions. Uh, but they're in their 11th final. Only twice since they formed their partnership have they not reached the final of the tournament they've played. There you can see their path uh, through to uh, today's final, taken the full distance in the quarter-final against Puavara Nukro and Tevrat Tanachai of Thailand. Susan Taylor of Australia is our umpire. Artur Zalushnoi of Estonia is the service judge. So this is the third meeting between the two pairs of the previous two. The world champions have won on both occasions, including the quarter-final last week right. in Tokyo. Zhang An, Li Yinwei, China. Away. Hey. Wang Yachong, China. Li <laughs> Yue, so to Zhang Suwei, love all, play. So the World Championship bronze medalists getting this final underway against the gold medalists from those same World Championships. Oh. And Steen, a week ago in the quarter-final in Tokyo at the Japan 750 event, a very, very convincing win for the World Champions in just 25 minutes. I'm expecting a, a closer match today. Yeah, I think so, so too. Uh, one, all. It was the semi-final in um, Japan, and it was a... Um, wasn't it the semi-final? Was it the quarter-final? I think it was the quarter-final, it was the quarter-final. And... Uh, a uh, slower haul, which, in my opinion, does not benefit um, Jiang Nan, so... Um, I think Jiang Nan and Li Yunhui will uh, be able to do better here today, but I uh, still have um, the world champions as the uh, overwhelming favourites to win it. Jenna has got to be at his best and uh, Li Jinhui has got to play at a level we haven't seen before if um, they want to win this uh, final. She's got to beat her opponent on the front court on Ya Chong. That's a tough task. semi-final was utterly brilliant, but there wasn't the consistency. No, and, and um, she was playing Huang Dongping mm. on the front court. She was playing also uh, Wang Yu. Yeah. Uh, but but uh, there's a lot of difference uh, between Huang Dongping and Huang Yachong uh, on the front court. Um, so um, she'll have um, tougher opposition today. Let's go back up. Yes. But you said yesterday, Joe, that she seems to be better in uh, her backhand shots. Yeah, More consistent than her forehand. Oh, that was a very crisp kill, wasn't it? Mm. 
Absolutely, Sarah. Six, three. Oh, tournament referees. Must have been a very, very good serve. Yeah. Backswing. No. But I think he's learned it from Chang Nan. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think you're probably right. The, the problem here for the uh, pairing black is that um, Zhang Siwei is so quick on his feet and he's also more powerful in his smashes than uh, Jiang Nan. Jiang Nan oh. probably has the, the better touch and the better eye for the game. It just doesn't help him if he constantly plays from below the table. Whoa. And that's where I, I feel that the matchup with the two female Nine. players is um, to the advantage of uh, Jiang Siwei. This man, Jiang Nan, Seven, indicates to me that perhaps he doesn't believe he can win this because he's yeah. trying such an extravagant shot yeah. that uh, when he was world number one with Zhao Yun Lei and Olympic champion, I mean, he would never have attempted he, he, something like didn't that. didn't have to. No. Well, it's a four-point advantage for the world champions at the mid-game interval. Just six minutes into the match. So one of the interesting things is again thinking a little bit out of the box and say, okay, who can we who can we pair Jiang Nan with so that um, he's got a chance? And um, I think Jiang Nan and Go Liu Ying they would stand a good chance of um, the Malaysian. Yeah, the Malaysian of uh, beating uh, Zhang Siwei and uh, Huang Yachong. Because that would um, give Jiang Nan a great chance of playing from above the tape. That's where at the moment we see sort of limitations in uh, most partnerships that are within the same country. Yeah. Only occasionally we see 
mixed country uh, pairings. And that has really happened. That's because of the Olympics. Because of the Olympics, I was going to say. Uh, I mean, Nora Perry and Thomas uh, Kilstrom, world champions from the one from Sweden, one from England. That was in 1983 in Copenhagen. I played with Stephen Fladberg in Denmark. And it was quite normal back then. To yeah, we, we, we have some now, but that's mostly players that have sort of um, um, reached their peak earlier, uh, like uh, Yu Young Sung. Is at the moment playing with Tan Boon Hyung, the Korean Yoo Young Sung playing with the Malaysian Tan Boon Hyung in some tournaments, but, but there's not a whole lot of them. From a national perspective, the Olympics are really important. Yeah, of course they are. And they're very important to the players themselves as well. Yeah. say that uh, it's not only the Olympics it's also the qualification system that badminton has chosen for the Olympics that it's a one-year ranking uh, system there's some positives about that but there's also some uh, negatives so a different kind of qualification system where some spots were allotted in um, one or more qualification tournaments would um, open up for Mixed partnerships. Well, mixed, opinion. mixed nationality partnerships, yeah. Well, this is a good comeback. Five points adrift a moment ago, now just two. Oh, that was a double hit, wasn't it? And that touch in the wise racket. Well, it's purely academic now. Yes, it did. Well. Should have lifted it a little bit so you'd had a better chance, Jang Nan. <laughs> She's very efficient at the front of the court, as you were saying. Yeah. Look at that. It's an angle of shot, placement of shot. Look at this uh, attempted smash, but it wasn't steep enough. Uh. Really played his partnership into trouble with that one. Yeah, I was just about to say that she's also got good working conditions, Huang Ya Chung, because she doesn't really have to care about anything else than what's in front of the white uh, service line. To return. That's extraordinary. It's right in the beginning of the match where it created an error. Just 
two points away from the opening game. in the short left. looking like you at the linesman from that first game point opportunity. It looks long to me. Yeah, I think so. Yes, it was way out. How on earth didn't the line judge call that Correction one? Out. Good challenge. Service over. 16, 20. Good play. Second time of asking, and the opening game to the world champions and world number ones, Chen Shi Wei and Wang Yaxiong. 21-16. And that, once again, that backhand from Zhang Nan was a desperation shot. 21-16 in 14 minutes. Oh, 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 the opening game in favour of the world champions. What can Bubble. the number five seed Zhang Nan and Li Yuhui do in response? Oh. Well taken. Defensive one, drive five. was the one that had done the damage though. Well, that's interesting. Discrepancy between the two pairs as to whether to change the shuttle or not. Just took the top of the tape. Drive from John Suey. He's removed that uh, strapping on his yeah. left knee. Normally you would say in the mixed doubles that it's an advantage to uh, play the far side of the court because you can uh, 
easier kill in the attack. I have to say, I don't think uh, it's an advantage here. I just think it means that Jang Nan is going to cover um, a bigger court because Wang Ya Chong and Jiang Suwei can, if they want to, play the back court with more confidence, then it's difficult for Jang Nan to uh, sort of work Jiang Suwei on this near side of the court be accurate on his back line. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's too flat, it's gone long. Well, unless something dramatic happens, I think Jan Nai is going to lose his record of being unbeaten in finals here in Changzhou. Two previous finals, won them both. Men's doubles in 2012 with Chai Biao. And the next doubles a year later with Xiao Yun Lei. It's really just a demonstration at the moment from the world champions. Yeah, it is, and I, I think uh, that this is a situation that they've been in a couple of times in practice, and uh, I don't think uh, Jang Nan and Lee and Hui has won a whole lot of games in practice either against uh, no, I suspect not. the world champions. Because that was another very extravagant attempt at a shot from oh! Jang Nan. doubles champion. So to the mid-game interval. With a huge nine-point advantage for the world champions. Chen Shi Wei and Wang Yaxiong. Well, in their first final of the year, Zhang Nang and Li Yinwei, they've just been outclassed. Yeah, and, and I mean, they can talk all they like, but sometimes strategy and uh, the correct tactical um, approach is not enough. You've got to uh, improve some skills as well. Oh. 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 Oh.
taken. She's very yeah, alert, so rack it up, ready. Well, three. In contrast to what we were discussing yesterday with uh, Lee Yin Wei, oh. the carriage a bit low. as well, the two Chinese um, women, whereas um, Wang Chong is uh, a little bit turned towards a panhandle grip when um, there's an uh, attacking situation at the net. I feel that uh, the Inuit grip is uh, turned a little bit towards um, backhand grip, so to speak, and uh, that could be the reason that um, we spotted or you spotted yesterday that um, she seems to be Five, more consistent in her backhand side and uh, creates more mistakes in the forehand. And once again, good placement. Intercepted shot from Wang Yashiong. Be their first Super Thousand win. Yes, indeed. Zhang and uh, Huang. In the final of the All England Championships. We lost in the semi final of the Indonesian Super 1000. Well, we were talking yesterday, nobody can win the Grand Slam or Super 1000 events this year. going into that smash. There's <laughs> <laughs> the sign that the he still has to pick up on uh, some things as a female mixed doubles player after that good service return. She's not hunting the next shot. Oh! Should. Seven, 17. Longest rally of the match so far at 26 shots. Really, just a question of the World Championship bronze medalist trying to make the scoreline a little more respectable. Yeah, it is. It is. Oh, that's good judgment. Oh. 
two points away from the title. What will be a fourth consecutive title for Cheng Shiwei and Wan Yashio. Thinking about it, they've been absolutely dominant um, since the World Championships. Yeah. Oh, the umpire's calling a let. The umpire wasn't ready. Oh, very, very quick off the mark on the first of their match point opportunities. My goodness. Yeah, she has to call match point. And the match to the world champions, Chen Shi Wei and Wang Yaxiong. Their fourth consecutive title in four tournaments played. A sixth title this year. And remarkably, a ninth a title in only their 13th tournament together. That is an extraordinary record in itself. Under the half-hour mark, just 29 minutes for their victory. 21-16-21-9. Yes, the final rally. And it certainly wasn't an understatement from you, Steve, to say that they've been dominant since the World Championships. The World Championships at the Asian Games gold medal, the Japan Open last week, and now here in Changzhou, the Victor China Open Super 1000 title. 29 minutes for the victory. to see as we prepare for the prize presentation, Steve, that uh, there's anyone that can really challenge them at the moment. Yeah, there's, there's uh, not really a pair that is uh, consistent enough on, um, on all uh, key skills. Not at the moment. So, Sapsure. Here, Chanachai and uh, Dechapan for Waranukro. That was the closest uh, to matching the Chinese in this tournament. Yes, that was three games in the quarter final stage.
also in their first tournament final this year, the World Championship bronze medalist Chang Nan and Liam Wei have to settle for second best. But for a sixth time this year, and then competing in their eighth final in only their tenth tournament of 2018, Cheng Shi Wei and Wang Yaxiong get to stand on top of the podium. They formed their partnership at the end of last year, Cheng Shi Wei and Wang Yaxiong. Simply a class above their opponents in today's final. So as they pose for the photographers, we can look forward to our next final, which is women's singles. And it's the reigning world Olympic and European champion, Carolina Marin, up against the number five seed Chen Yufei from China.